Welcome. Today we're going to talk about getting your Kindle notes. Oh, I got my Kindle here, so let me grab it. My Kindle Oasis notes, books I read on there into my Obsidian Vault. Um, now, I actually don't read on my Kindle a ton. I read on it when I'm on vacation, when I can't take a whole stack of books. That's about it. When I'm like going to be at the beach a bunch, then I'll read on it. Uh, I don't read on it. I mostly just read books, like books you hold in your hand. That's, that's like my two read shelf is right there, right there above my shoulder. But today we're going to look at it. And thanks to Dr. Brad Davis, a uh, link to it below to the video that kind of gave me this to use. Before we get going, a couple ways to support the channel. Actually, there's really only one way now because I've been doing a terrible job at Patreon, so I can't really recommend it to you. Um, but you can go to Skillshare, take one of my courses, chrismichael.ca slash Skillshare, search my Zettelkasten course. You can take it. Let's dive in at getting and learn how to get our links downloaded. Don't want my iPad, do my main screen. So this is the video from Brad Davis, Supercharge Reading with Readwise, with Kindle, Readwise, and Obsidian. Um, it's a good video. Now he actually uses Readwise for most of it because he reads a lot on Kindle. I don't, so I don't use Readwise. Um, it's like a couple books a year, really. But that's a good one if you want to find out more about it. There'll be a link to this in the show notes. So what you really need to do it yourself uh, is I need to come into Chrome. I'm going to search the Mark Download Chrome extension and install it. I actually already have it installed, but this is what you're looking for. I could remove it from Chrome. I don't want to do that. And then the next thing I need to go to is, what is it? It's not this. It's read.amazon.com slash notebook. And then I would go to the book I want to grab and I click Markdown and download. So now I've downloaded a markdown file. Open one done. What's it going to open it in? I don't even know. I'm guessing Adam. There it is, Adam, a code editor, which isn't my choice, but that's kind of what the default is. That's fine. So they don't do this enough to make it like a big deal. And now I have my notes in here, at least in some fashion. Still going to have to format them, right? I have my author, um, right? It's kind of hard to tell in this. I think that's a quote, right? Note location doesn't actually say, oh, I guess yellow highlight location 163. So that's the note. So I don't love that part of it, but if you want to get all the content in there really, um, like really easily, right? Note location 163 then this can be a good way. What I actually am probably gonna do most of the time still is I'm gonna go in here and I'm actually gonna go through it like this. So what I would do is I'd grab my window, and I'd grab Obsidian, put it on that side, hide my sidebars, cause that's too much. Do I have the productivity project in there? Project and, I'm, and putting this on the twenty third, so twenty three oh seven, twenty twenty one, oh six forty, done. And I put in my book template. So that means I put in my author is Chris Bailey. And then I start going through. So one of the first things we see here is that it has mentioned a book. Uh, getting things done. That's that location 76. So this clearly is going to take more time than what Brad Davis has done. Uh, it probably takes more time than what the Readwise integration has done as well. But I would go through like that and I would use it as like a filter. If you really just want the markdown in quickly, you want plain text in quickly, then you can do mark download with Chrome. And that is pretty reasonable. It gets it in there faster. You're still gonna have to go through and do some formatting, do some sorting and really process your notes. Cause even if you get them in there, even in Readwise, you still need to go through and process your notes. Do something with them besides just getting them in your database. Don't be a collector, be a connector. That's it. If you like the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. 
and YouTube will let you know what happened. Support the channel by taking one of my courses. Uh, you can find links to all of them below. You're most likely interested in the Zettelkasten course if you are watching this. There's a link directly to that below, or you can go to curtismichael.ca slash Skillshare, where it'll just take you to Skillshare and you can take a course. That's it. Have a good one.